was fine and sunny if you're a supporter of one of the three Queensland teams. The Broncos, the Titans, the Cowboys, all too good for their opponents. Adam Reynolds, is he the single reason that Brisbane are playing so well? Gus, 38 zip over Manly. Go back, play, replay the tape. I said he's the buyer of the year. Mm. Undoubtedly the buyer of the year. We actually spoke with him when I was meeting with Trent Barrett at the hotel on Saturday morning, having coffee with us with Josh Jackson. Uh, Adam Reynolds had come in to visit the South Sydney boys who were staying in the hotel and he was with Damien Cook and Katie Walker and they came over and said hello and had a talk to Trent and talked a bit of footy and that and he said it's just, A, he loves Brisbane, the pressure of not being in Sydney. He said he'll live there for the rest of his life. B, he loves the young blokes at the Broncos. He said they're playing a very simple brand of football. He's just swearing the way on the field, he said, and they're doing all the rest. He said he absolutely loves the decision he's made to be there. A lot of the reporting coming out of the match, Michael, has been around the fact that no one at the Rabbitohs has just sort of owned up to the mistake of letting him go. Does someone have to? Well, the reason they did it is because they believed in Cody Walker, right? That, that, and Cody Walker hasn't delivered for them this year. Well, so... I think it's harsh saying Cody Walker hasn't delivered. He needs a partner. He needs, and they were just a combination. I, I'm still... I don't know what the word is. I'm, flabbergasted? Flabbergasted, if that's a word, whatever it means. Mm -hmm. I just cannot believe he has <laughs> left the South Sydney side. <laughs> Especially that he wanted... Gus, honestly, a good halfback. What's he worth for that team? A million dollars? He wanted 700000 You've got to pay that for crap halfbacks these days. <laughs> I can't believe they well, let him go. Well, let me, Surely uh, someone's got to put the hand up and say, it was me. Well, <laughs> Surely. Let, let me look at it the other way. Everyone looks about, you know, what's a player worth? What's the cost of not having him? Well, look at it. That's, well, that's, that's a great example. That's the real cost. Yep. What's the cost of not having him? So if you're the Brisbane Broncos, it wouldn't have matter what he charged you. You'd have been paying it to mm. get the results you're mm. getting at the moment. I agree. And he is the buyer of the year. The Rabbitohs, I don't know what position their salary cap was in. I don't know what they were thinking. But he's a, you know, an 85, 90% goal kicker, a, a, a match premiership winning halfback. You can't buy them. You can't find them. There's only, we've only got half a dozen halfbacks in the whole competition. Everyone's struggling to find another and one. experience, Gus. And you, let, and you let one go. Remember the experience. You let the, one go. I, I, I agree with you. I'm agreeing with you this time because Stop you that. let an experienced <laughs> halfback go. So it has got to be the worst decision I've ever seen in rugby league. I've been around for 20 years. Gus has been around 100. Is it the worst decision you've ever seen? In 100? <laughs> it's up there. There you go. That's no, wait, how high this is. I'd like to know what you were thinking. No, it's in the quarterfinals. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got, I've, no, no, some others.